As the day of the Passover celebration drew near, the chief priests and the teachers of the law began to look for ways to get rid of Jesus. As Jesus had traveled around teaching and preaching all across the land, many people had begun to follow him, which made the religious leaders worry that they would lose their power. Then Satan entered Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples. Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard to come up with a way to betray Jesus. Delighted at the idea of getting one of Jesus' trusted disciples to help them, they agreed to pay him for his assistance. Judas then waited for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when there wasn't a crowd around to witness what happened. On the day of the Passover celebration, Jesus sent Peter and John to find a place for them to have their Passover meal. Jesus told them that inside the city, they would find a man carrying a jug of water who would lead them to a room where they could prepare the meal. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them. When the meal was ready, Jesus sat at the table with his disciples. Jesus said to them, I am so thankful to share this Passover meal with you before I suffer. I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. And he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the supper, he took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the man who is going to betray me is sitting at this table. I will carry out my mission as it has been ordered, but sadness and misery will come to the man who betrays me. The disciples looked at each other and began to question which one of them would do such a thing. The disciples then began to question which of them was the greatest of Jesus' followers. Jesus said to them, Kings selfishly use their power over their people, and rulers unjustly give favor to some. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be humble and serve others. Jesus continued, saying, For who is greater? The person who sits at the table and is served, or the person who serves? It seems obvious that the one who is served is greatest, but I am among you as one who serves. You have stood by me in my trials. I give to you a kingdom, just as my Father gave one to me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel.